welcome, welcome. I'm thrilled that you could join me on numerologist.com. My name's Elizabeth Harper from Seal With Love. I am here with this week's angel messages. So we are using angel power cards for our messages this week. What I'd love for you to do is place your hands over your heart, just like angel wings, invite your angels to guide you to message one, two, or three. A message that comes from their heart to yours. All right, I'm just gonna shuffle these for a moment and then we'll see what wants to come up from our angels. Your angels are always with you. They're always connecting to guide you to receive whatever will support you at this time. It's not always what you think it's gonna be though. All right, number one. Number one is take charge now. This is on the box, take charge. So whenever a card comes up from an Oracle deck and it's the one that's on the box, I feel like it's a really important message. So for you, listen up. It says leadership and self-discipline are required to take control of your life. So we can give everything up to the divine. We can just keep tumbling along in our lives, you know, with no direction and no purpose, no focus. And I feel that this message, especially with all this lilac and violet, it's time for you to plug in. Plug into your light, plug into your soul, plug into your purpose, plug into the angels. Plug into and recharge yourself with divine energy, leadership and self-discipline are required to take control of your life. What is it you want to do? So what's missing at the moment in your life? What is it that you can't seem to grasp? It's like it, it's, it's something that is, is fluid and it's, it's moving away from you or, or you're feeling like you're not in control anymore. What is it that's missing? I often use that when I'm in a situation where I feel that I'm just noodling along, <laughs> so to speak. So I look at what's missing and then I focus on that. So take charge, take action. It's time to move toward whatever it is that is in your heart, it, that a goal that you haven't achieved yet or whatever is missing in your life. How can you bring that into your life now? How can you make it a major part of who you are and your path? I love that, especially with that lilac. Lilac is transformation, but that transformation, at least from my perspective, comes from you making choices, from you saying, okay, that's it. It's time to get going. Number two. Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Shamuel is coming up a lot for me this week. Embrace healthy relationships. So it's kind of interesting. There's a lot of red and orange behind there, isn't there? And red and orange is the root chakra and the sacral center. So when I look at this, when I think of Archangel Shamuel and relationships, there is a sense of turmoil that's all around. There is a sense of kind of chaos that's there. And yet Shamuel is saying, look for the love. Where is the love? Seek out love. Find the love, find the connection. So it may be that there's a lot going on in your life at the moment. And it could be that, you know, friendships are challenging. Family relationships are difficult. It might be that you're stuck in some way or even stuck in a pattern of you've always got the same kind of relationship. But when I look at this, embrace healthy relationships, there is a sense of put that chaos behind you, put all that drama behind you. Let's focus on the love. What do you love about this person? What do you love about these relationships? What do you love about the possibility of friendship? Where's the love? So look at that image and you see there, she's holding the energy of love and it's connecting to the heart. It's right at the heart. And her hands, 
Her hands are connecting to her heart and her hands are healing. So it's bringing healing into those relationships, bringing healing into your heart. And really saying, I love my life. I love being here. I love these connections. I love these relationships. I love these friendships. I'm really focusing on the energy of love and letting the drama and the chaos just, if it has to happen, it can go on behind you. You don't have to be a part of it. That feels like the message. Number three. Strong feeling Archangel Michael. Archangel Raphael. I can feel that energy of Archangel. It's all blue, which is kind of interesting. Raphael helps you heal in mind, body, and spirit. So you see there, these are the chakras moving down here. And yet they look like stars. So it's like you are your own solar system. You are your own star system with your chakras. Archangel Raphael is the healing angel. But I feel really strongly that Archangel Michael is in there too. Such a strong feeling that Archangel Michael wants to come into your life now. And Michael we think of as protection, purpose. This sense of freeing you from the past, freeing you from anything that you felt trapped in. And Raphael would help to heal would help you to heal as soon as you come out of that. Because you know, when you let go, it's like you can feel like you are in limbo or, or it's a new place and you don't know what to do in that new place. You don't know who you are. So like you need to find a new identity. So I feel that Archangel Raphael is coming in to help you to heal after release. And Archangel Michael is coming in to help you to release so that then you can step into a new life. And that new life might be very simple or it could be really complex. So however it is, ask the angels to help you, to help you navigate that energy. They're there for you. And it's not like they're coming in a, a big tribe of people and they're talking to you and saying, okay, so let's do this and let's do that. They will, guide the right scenarios and situations and experiences and people to come into your life to help you and support you. So just ask. And when you ask, you receive. Thank you so much for being with me, as always. The angels are with you, remember that. Sending you so much love. Angel blessings to you.